Lou Holtz said, if you're born with life, you don't get up every morning with a burning desire to do things. You don't have enough goals. And Brian Tracy said, all successful people, men and women, are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect, and then they work every day towards their distant vision. That goal or purpose. As we fight to overcome this ongoing pandemic, only a set of people will come out stronger and better after all this. Those who choose to never cower under the pressure of this pandemic. Those who choose to become their best in spite of the challenge the world is presently faced with. If you want to join this group of people, here are three very important goals you must set and achieve during this period. 1. Determine to keep learning. John F. Kennedy said, leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. Those who are constantly willing to learn will constantly find the kind of growth they need to become better. As Brian Tracy is reputed to have said, when you increase your learning, you increase your earning. Learning doesn't only increase your earning ability, it also reduces your level of ignorance. I watched a live video of a presentation made by the governor of my state and by the time the media reported it in the papers, the news was slightly twisted. I imagined if I had not been curious enough to watch what the governor would say, I would have gone ahead to believe the rubbish published by the media. People perish because they lack knowledge. I have seen men who complain so much about poverty but yet have never read a book about money. A young man comes to my office often, not to learn what I do, which I'm always willing to teach him, but to watch movies on my laptop. I laugh because those who refuse to learn always find that they will always be cheated in life. Now is the best time to immerse yourself in learning. Keep reading. Keep increasing your skills. Keep growing in what you're doing. Because one day, you would wake up and will find that this is over and you're left with the results of how you maximized it when it was still around. As B.B. King said, the beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. 2. Determine to become a better person. This period, someone showed up on my list who became much more than a thorn in the flesh. There was always much to do for her and there were always crazy deadlines to meet. And with it all, she was unwilling to pay as much as she was supposed to. Frustrated, I observed I was constantly complaining and getting angry, without ever letting my vexations known to this person. Until recently, I realized I had been viewing the situation wrongly. Charles Swindoll said, Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. I realized my reaction to the situation had been very poor. So, I changed and found in it, instead, lessons I could learn to help me become a better person. Soon as I did, I discovered very serious lessons that will benefit me in future. One day, this pandemic will come to a close. Two sets of people are going to emerge after this pandemic. People who lose themselves to bitterness and frustration and people who chose to become better in spite of the trauma this brought upon us. Those second group of people will not only enjoy the best of life, but they will also have so many opportunities waiting for them to take from. Life circumstances can be viewed two ways, an opportunity or a disaster. You can sit and mope over what's happening now or you can look upon it as an opportunity to become a better person. 3. Determine to make the most of this year, starting now. Yesterday, I read a book titled The Art of Work. In it, the author highlighted the fact that doing our very best may not be good enough for us. When he was little, he would feel sad when he sees even a C in his report card. But his father would encourage him by saying, you did your best, that is all that matters. Although this statement was innocently made, the author grew up to use this as an excuse to always give up on things before he had even tried hard enough. I read the retweet of a tweet on Twitter yesterday. The writer had some great goals for the year 2020, but because of this COVID-19 pandemic, had cancelled his goals and replaced them with staying alive. I think 2020 still has more to offer, wrote Kemi Adetiba. My dad once said to me, what you lose on the stretch, you gain at the curve. The world has survived worse than this before. One day, just one day, all this will be over. You will wake up one day in this year, most likely, 
to see on the news that COVID-19 has been overcome. You will realize that all the world's fears and complaints have suddenly dissipated. For you, you will realize that the free time you have in your hands now is no longer. You have to join the rest of the world to start to work hard to rebuild all that we have lost. Then you will only be reaping the result of what you have sown now. So, don't join the band of people who think it's over for us because of the long stretch of time. This COVID-19 pandemic is taken to leave. Don't believe the concept that staying alive is now all that matters. While you should stay safe, you should equally determine to make the remaining period of this year better. Because great things can still be done. You can still achieve the great things you plan to achieve. Only with this pandemic. You just have to change your strategy. Don't ever forget that tough times never last, but tough people do. When this pandemic is over, where would you be? Would you be grateful for what it helped you achieve? Because what you lose on the stretch, you will eventually gain at the curve. If this video inspired you, share it with your friends. We love you.